Hey guys, and welcome back to Deku Tarot and to your weekly tarot and astrology for April 6th through the 12th of 2020. Stick around at the end for some big announcements in terms of price cuts for all my readings, how to get 30% off of astrology, um, natal charts, compatibility charts through this amazing, amazing site called Truly Divine. So stick around at the end for that. And again, all of that, both of that information will always be in my description box below this video. Um, do stick around also for a giveaway information at the end as well as um, some other big announcements. So stick around, guys. We're going to go over the astrology first, and then we're going to get into your specific outlook for your sign for the week ahead, okay? So um, we got some big stuff this week, and if you guys haven't, do make sure to check out your monthlies. I've been finding that the weeklies are really um, lending to the monthlies that I did for April 2020. So do check those out. Those are all up. Um, and do be sure to, especially to check out your weeklies for your, your rising sign first, then your sun and your moon. Rising sign does rule your whole chart. And I find that that really slaps for a good outlook, especially energy wise and how things are coming across to you for your week and month ahead. So let's start off with April 6th, Monday here. We have the moon um, void. It's moving from Virgo into Libra. And this week, um, I do want to say just out right it is Aries season in full swing so um here we have the moon kind of bringing in some harmony here um well actually it will be in general in harmony with a lot of planets so there's gonna be a lot of natural expression um with yourself and with others today um there's gonna be a lot of taking account and you know into the opposite side as the moon moves into libra and you're gonna be very focused on resolving issues diplomatically fairly bringing about balance peace and harmony tuesday we have some big stuff going on we have the full moon in libra um and libra is all you know about relationships about balance about harmony so it's bringing in a lot of clarity about relationships, a lot of harmony and connections. Um, okay, so any type of connections, again, that I've been dancing around each other, you know, weird situations, even from last September, um, or even beyond that, um, especially with all the, you know, um, eclipses, you know, go back to those eclipses. If you've been dancing around a partnership, a person, a love situation since then, you're going to find that that could be coming up for that definitive moment, that big oomph moment here so um we might be reaching pinnacles within relationships in terms of seeing where they're headed where they're going big moments could happen couples um that are already together may start more enjoyable projects to work on together and you need to start looking again at how do you feel when you're together versus apart you don't want to be using relationships to define yourself or to avoid being alone um you know so let's see what else is going on here also we have mars and aquarius on the same day here squaring uranus and taurus this is big news because this really only happens twice every other year and Uranus and Taurus is big um, and Mars and Aquarius is also big because they're both fixed signs and they're both very stubborn signs people that say that Aquarians aren't stubborn you're wrong Aquarians might be in my opinion more stubborn than Taurus is in my in my um in my personal knowledge and experience with them <laughs> as a Taurus and having other people say that too it's you know it's they're they're kind of secretly um very stubborn so this is a really stubborn and intense very combustible squaring here um so it could be very disruptive tempers might even pop off here and it's going to be happening because our ideologies and our egos are going to be clashing again with these two fixed signs so it's going to force you to be like you know what it's time to stand up for what i want it's time for me to stand up for ourselves you know especially if you've been putting off with it okay putting that off so steer clear of any people and situations that will explode keep a cool head okay friday april 10th is another pretty interesting thing and pretty nice thing actually going on especially for all this other really Aries energy um, with the sun in Aries and being in Aries season. We have Mercury also moving into Aries here. So there's a lot of expressive, quick-witted, speedy speech here. Um, you know, we're going to be more drawn to, you know, saying one-liners rather than going into a whole soliloquy of, you know, everything and, you know, maybe even like writing out an essay to explain things. People are going to have short attention spans. Keep it short. Pay attention to what people are saying because if you have, they have to repeat themselves, you might find that suddenly you're in an argument, okay? Because there's a lot of argument energy um within this you know within mercury and aries here so um if you don't want to burn down any major bridges keep your argu argumentative side in check so in terms of astrology that's pretty much what's going on here we might do a separate video for the full moon in libra, um, in libra not libra <laughs> so check that out as well all right so let's get into the tarot reading for the week all right capricorns let's check out what your weekly <sighs> tarot poll is for April 6th through the 12th of 2020. We're going to see um, what comes up for you 
and how this week's going to play out. Let's look at emotions. And again, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Do check out your rising and definitely your moon this week with um, the full moon. So check that out. All right. And do be sure definitely to check out the monthlies, guys. I put a lot of energy into those videos. And I really am, in, um, I just remember the messages that came through were very powerful. And you should definitely check them out. Emotions this week. Career, and finances, career, and money. Capricorns this week. Love and relationship for Capricorns this week. Let's do overall in terms of any big events, huge happenings this week. Some huge happenings this week they need to know about coming in, they need to know about for. Capricorns, April 12th, sorry, but April 12th, April 6th to the 12th, 2020. So, let's pull one more there. All right, not too bad, nothing too much this week. I would say emotionally you're feeling really not grounded right now, and that's going to be what's going to throw you off here. Um, Knight of Pentacles reverse to me signifies... Uh, you don't feel very solid and stable in terms of your emotions moving forward right now. So, um, Knight of Pentacles is actually usually a very good um, card for you guys. It's, you guys in Virgo can sometimes come up as the Knight of Coins to me. Um, you guys mostly come up as the Queen of Coins. But the Knight of Coins is very studious, very hardworking. You know, he puts in the effort. What he knows, what he plants and what he's carrying, he knows are going to come around eventually. He has patience. He's not exciting, but he's around for the long haul. And he's not, you know, running around, changing his mind, changing this, changing that. He's very stable and solid. But when that's reversed, there's a lot of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Especially with the Ten of Pentacles reversed here next to it as kind of a signifier or a clarifier here for it. We get this feeling that... There's a lot of stagnation and frustration here, and that's really what's throwing you off. We're feeling a little bit too stuck at home for some of you, and that's unusual for an earth sign, but we don't have our, how do I explain this? You guys don't have your routine, and things have been thrown up in the air, and when earth signs don't have a routine, it makes y'all a little bit nuts. It makes you guys a little bit crazy. I get it. Um, without the routine, without knowing that this is what I do in this order every day and I can rely on that and not having that stability, it's throwing you up a little bit in terms of your emotions, in terms of an instability. You also don't really feel like you know, a lot of your emotions have to do with money, have to do with career, have to do with your abundance, have to do with where you're living. Am I going to be able to move forward the way I want to or it's everything paused now? If you were trying to move, if you were trying to do big moves like that or move in terms of career, um, trying to almost get to that level of, you know, Ten of Pentacles, the abundance, the career, everything that you've wanted to get to where you want to go, especially in terms of, you know, again, a physical move, a new home. You're going to feel really frustrated and stagnated by that. Like, well, there's nothing I can do. What the hell am I supposed to do right now? Nothing. And career is also going to be irritating. Seven of Pentacles reverse. What's the point? Why, you know, if I put this much effort into it and I haven't seen anything come of it yet, then what's the point to continue on with it? There's a lot of I kind of want to give up type of feeling when you get the Seven of Pentacles reversed. So let's look at that a little deeper. Because I feel, you know, with the Seven of Pentacles, you're usually you're like... You're trying to cultivate the material game with your effort, but... It hasn't really sprung up yet. We haven't seen the results. They're on their way, but they're not in yet. Yeah, and we're really hoping, wishing for them to get to a certain level. We have self-satisfaction and goals in mind. We want to be feeling this way, celebrating. And we thought we would be here by now, celebrating these new big moves, a new job, all of this. But if something is no longer satisfying you and it's not, you know, paying the bills, it's not making you feel good about yourself, and no matter how much work and effort you put into it, it doesn't seem to pay back, it's, start, it's time to start looking at what's going to make you truly happy, at what you can control and what you can find, you know, sustenance and happiness from right now. So maybe it's saying to focus more on what you can give yourself now and what you should be proud of and what you do have to be proud of. 
it's you know time to switch it up and stop beating yourself up and stop you know lamenting over the frustration of things especially work career money moving home stuff being as stagnant and stuck as they are we get it it's annoying and or for earth signs i get it it's extremely annoying but there are other good things to focus on and in terms of love and relationships you could be falling for new people i mean with mercury and aries um uh, mercury moving into aries this week and it being aries season there's a lot of flirtatious energy going on online possibly because i know we're all in isolation so i'm kind of trying to switch my messages to incorporate more of that instead of saying go out to the club and do this and all this other stuff don't do that um, maybe communicate with people online. There's all sorts of really fun ways to do that. There's, I think, Zoom now. Um, I've never used that. We were using Jackbox the other day to play games, all, me and all my friends, and that was awesome. Um, you know, there's all the Facebook Lives and chatting and, I don't know, all sorts of stuff. So you can still be communicating, meeting new people, flirting away. But there is this sense of real, just like, I don't know, and I kind of feel like this is more your energy. You're, like, feeling flirty, fun, and feisty this week, and you just, like, want to... I don't know. You want to flirt with somebody. You want to ignite some romance. We want to just play the field a little bit here. So let's pull another card for that because that's pretty positive and um, nice here. Yeah. Ooh. You could even, especially if it's, you know, a Cancer, a Pisces, maybe even a Scorpio. Probably not, though. Um, I do feel a lot of romance from this sign. Maybe, I don't know. For some reason, I'm also getting maybe a Gemini. But, um... Knight of Cups there with the Four of Wands. You know, this could be some Twin Flame stuff. Let's not get too carried away with that word, though. But this person's situation is very nurturing. You feel really at home there, and you can sense that there's going to be celebration, communi community with this person, a growth there. And you might even be imagining, hey, wouldn't it be nice, you know, once this all is over, for us to get together, you know, wouldn't it be nice to be living this life? Four of Wands to me is kind of my fantasy um, in the future card, your glass ceiling, where you want to get but haven't really got yet. Um, but it also says to be present and happy in the here and now. Take things slower. Um, be more nurturing and loving, not just with yourself, but with those around you. If you're in a relationship, especially, there's a lot of nurturing from home. Romance to be had there. I'm seeing, like, cooking nice meals for each other, watching romantic movies, playing some fun games together. But there's a lot of communication, connection, and balancing. Um, whether you're looking at it towards the future and you're just starting something new that you're really feeling like, oh my god, there's this real sense of balance here and I can see us getting there um there's all that wonderful flirty wonderful just happy sexy fun energy and vibes this week so take advantage of that um overall you know anything big happening this week is you're you know creating new foundations based on how you're feeling now based on the emotions that you have based on um I don't know, it also feels like there's a lot, there's a lot better, um, there's a better energy for you guys in terms of communicating with others, communicating how you feel, and that helps foster healthy relationships, build healthy relationships, build a foundation for the future. If you and your partner are working on some, have had to, you know, change things up, especially with all the stuff going on in terms of what your plans were, how we're getting to where we want to go, how we're paying rent, how we're doing this, how we're doing that, even the foundation of your relationship, we're building this. We're rebuilding this. And again, with um, the full moon in Libra, there's a lot of balancing out, a lot of, um, are we on the same page? Let's build together on something. Let's work together on this. You know, this isn't a foundation you're building alone when you get the three of pentacles. There's always other people. And again, you're all aligned in your mind and your body and in your soul towards a common goal, towards whatever it is you're working towards here. And with that, um, excuse me, I feel like I'm going to sneeze no, okay. Page of Cups here. You're developing a deeper understanding, a deeper emotional understanding of others, deeper emotional connection with others. And I think that's what's really important this week. Sometimes I find Earth signs, especially Capricorns and Virgos, get a little stagnant in those areas. And they, you know, those aren't as important to them. Or, you know, we just kind of skate by with that. Yeah, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. But this is like where you get to really um, develop your own understanding of your own emotions versus the emotions of others and how you're feeling about them, how we're communicating in terms of our emotions. So, um, again, it's how you're, again, your deeper understanding of your emotional self and others' emotional selves here. So there's new beginnings, new opportunities to build some new foundations in terms of love as well. And even if it's not a new person, it's, you know, I, these are my romantic qualities. This is what I want in this person. And this is what we're going for. And writing that out to the universe and setting that all up so that, you know, when things start coming in and when you're, as you're manifesting this new love in, that it's all going to be fine. And it's going to start building towards the future, you know, building a solid, stable foundation. Okay. With, with true understanding and emotional development. Ooh, let's see what comes up here for you, Capricorn. 
retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So if you're with a lover, again, this is a great, I mean, what a card for all this isolation times, all these weird ass times that we're living in, but retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. It's time to disconnect from other people, really get involved with this partnership, disconnect from any situations that continuously brought you down. And I mean, with isolation, it's a great time to reconnect alone, almost like a little mini, um, getaway or what's the word i'm looking for gosh what's the word i'm looking for um honeymoon it's going on like a mini honeymoon like a indoors a staycation honeymoon <laughs> all right let's pull a lynn v andrews from power deck here Ooh, feminine the world is bereft of feminine consciousness to bring Mother Earth back into balance, we must bring back our awareness of her. Language is a barrier between us, but woman has always communed with woman in an unspoken language. Her roots are entwined with the essence of Mother Earth, for she too is feminine. Woman is the keeper of the planet and must not let her energy be rerooted by the male systems within woman or man. We are all in need of world harmony. Mother Earth has been misunderstood, but she is the universe. She is the womb for all that lives. Feminine consciousness is the energy that embodies the wisdom you need at this moment. So instead of, yeah, being like more masculine and money driven and all this stuff, this really has you being a lot more emotion driven and growth in your emotions, growth in these areas, okay, this week. So don't be too stuck on these annoying things. It's not going to help you this week. There's ain't nothing you can do. Focus on the emotional quality, your emotional capacity in a deeper, how to understand yourself emotionally at a deeper level as well as others in your life that are important. All right, Capricorn, those are your messages. Um, if you haven't, do make sure to subscribe. Do make sure to share the video if you enjoy it. Give it a like um, and hit that wiggly bell in the corner so you can get notified every time I put up a video. Do check out your monthly for April. That is up for all of the signs, so check that out, guys. Um, if you are looking for a really amazing um, compatibility analysis, um, numerology analysis, um, astrology chart analysis for just yourself or even for a friend as a gift, you know, I have, I've been working with this amazing company called Truly divine and like literally I don't work I get a lot of offers to work with a lot of people and I was so excited when they wanted to work with me because they sent me these amazing samples of how they do their analysis and charts and I was mind blown I'm telling you mind blown I have used all sorts of different you know online you know cafe astrology all this other stuff and even with people like I've paid people to do my astrology charts and numerology before and they just truly divine just blew them all out of the water I am just so impressed. So do use the code DQ30. It is totally worth it. Definitely, you know, send it to your friends, your family. They can use it as many times as they want. So can you. So use that code. All the information is, again, in the description box below. And it's the code DQ30 for um, Truly Divine to get 30% off of any of that stuff that you want to get through them. All of their services. They're incredible. So check that out, guys. If you want to enter a contest to win this really awesome wire wrap bone ring that I'm giving away along with some crystals and especially made cell sa spell sachet. I always say this wrong <laughs> for you. Um, up until April 13th, all you have to do is share video screenshot, you know, on social media where you sh um, shared it, send it to me via email and um, you're in or you ha can just book a reading. OK, and again, I'm taking 20 percent off all my readings right now for the time being. I might raise that um, just so that, you know, we can get more off as, you know, time goes on with this whole isolation thing. I want to be able to help you guys when um, you might need it, even if, you know, we don't have the money right now. So check that out, guys. All my prices are lower right now and have a wonderful and blessed week check out your monthlies make sure to subscribe and um yeah stay cool this week guys stay chill don't worry about all the wrong things all right don't worry about things that you cannot control love you so much capricorns namaste